Hello everybody, welcome back for the first time to Paleo News. Um, today I'm going to be reading something that was posted just two days ago. That's recent. This in this recent uh, discovered, I can't speak, in this recent discovery, a team of paleontologists excavated four dinosaurs in northeastern Montana this, this summer. The four dinosaur fossils are the ilium, or the hip bones of an ostrich-sized theropod, the group of meat-eating two-legged dinosaurs that includes T-Rex and raptors, the hips and legs of a duck-billed dinosaur, a pelvis, toe claw, and limbs from another theropod that could be the rare ostrich mimic Anzu. That's actually a big discovery, seeing as Anzu is very rare, or possibly a new species. That's even better. And Triceratops specimen consisting of its skull and other fossilized bones. That's pretty cool. So I'm going to just be kind of reading this to you guys. So, a team of paleontologists from the University of Washington and its Burke Museum of Natural History and Culture excavated four dinosaurs in northeastern Montana this summer. All fossils will be brought back to the Burke Museum where the public can watch paleontologists remove the surrounding rock in the fossil preparation laboratory I'm gonna be there definitely i will definitely be there and the four dinosaur fossils i just read that um three of the four dinosaurs were all found in close proximity on the bureau of land management that is currently leased to a rancher in july of 2021 a team of volunteers and paleontology staff k-12 K-12 educators who were part of the Dig Field School program and students from UW and other universities worked together to excavate these dinosaurs. The fossils were found in Hell Creek Formation, the geologic, a geologic formation that dates from the latest portion of the Cretaceous period, 66 to 68 million years ago. Uh, typical paleontology Paleontological digs involve excavating one known fossil. However, the Hell Creek Project is an ongoing research collaboration of paleontologists from around the world studying the life right before the KPG mass extinction event, or also known just as the Cretaceous extinction the event that killed off all dinosaurs except birds. The Hell Creek Project is is unique in that it is sampling all plant and animal life found throughout the rock formation in an unbiased manner. Each fossil that we collect help us, helps us sharpen our views of the last dinosaur-dominated ecosystems and the first mammal-dominated ecosystems, says Gregory, Gregory Milson Mantilla, a UW professor of biology and curator of the vertebrate paleontology at Burke Museum. With these, we can better understand the process and involved in the loss of and origination of biodiversity and the fragility, collapse, and assembly of ecosystems. All the dinosaurs except the Triceratops will be prepared in the Burke Museum's Fossil Preparation Laboratory this fall and winter. The Triceratops fossil remains on the site because the dig team continued to find more and more bones while excavating and needs an additional field season to excavate any further bones. That's unfortunate. But that is how it is. We can still go see them excavate the other ones. And that's even better because there could have been a new species. Um, the team plans to finish the excavation by in the summer of 2022. That's about a year. That's not very long at all. Um, called the flyby trike in honor of the rancher who first identified the dinosaur while He's flying his airplane over his ranch. The team uncovered and this dinosaur's frill, horn bones, individual rib bones, lower jaw, teeth, and the occipital condyle bone, nicknamed the trailer hitch, which is the ball on the back of the skull that connects the neck to the vertebrae. The team estimates approximately 30% of this individual skull bones have been found to date with more potential bones to be excavated next year. 
The flyby trike was found in hardened mud with the bones scattered on top of each other in ways that are different from the way all from the way the bones would be laid out in a living animal. This these clues indicate that the dinosaur most likely died on a flood plain, then got mixed together after its death and being moved around by a flood river system, or possibly moved around by a scavenger like a T Rex before fossilizing in addition. In addition, the flyby trike is one of the last triceratops living before the KPG mass extinction. That's pretty cool. Burke paleontologists estimate it lived less than 300,000 years before the event. That's even cooler. Previous to this year's excavations, a portion of the flyby trike frill and brow horn were collected subsequently prepared by volunteer pr preparators in the fossil preparation lab. The frill was collected in many pieces and puzzled together fantastically by volunteers. Upon puzzling the frill portion together, it was discovered that the specimen is likely an older grandparent triceratops, said Kelsey Abrams in the the Burke Museum's Paleontology Preparation Laboratory manage Manager, who also participated in this summer's field work. The triangular bones along the frill called the epi, also, I can't pronounce that word, um, oxypaddles, oxypaddles, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, please, um, are completely fused and almost unrecognizable on the specimen as compared to the sharp, noticeable triangular shape seen in younger individuals. In addition, the brow horn curves upwards as posted, as posed, sorry, curves downwards as opposed to, to upwards. And this feature has been well, has been reported to be seen in older animals as well. Amber and seed pods were also found with the flyby trike. These finds allow paleobotanists, I don't know why I said it like that, to determine what plants were living alongside Triceratops, what the dinosaur may have eaten, and what the overall ecosystem was like in Hell Creek leading up to the mass extinction. Plant fossil remains from this time period are crucial for our understanding of the wi wider ecosystem. Not, not only can a plant material tell us what these dinosaurs were perhaps eating, but plants can more broadly tell us what their environment looked like says Paige Wilson, a UW graduate student in Earth and Space Sciences. Plants are the base, food, a base of the food chain and a crucial part of the fossil record. It's exciting to see this new material found so close to the vertebrate fossils. That's pretty cool, because we can tell what these, the ecosystem looked like and what these dinosaurs were eating. Like... Knowing what this ecosystem was like could be, I mean, not ecosystem, environment. What this environment looked like could be so would be so cool because then we would have clear evidence on how these animals lived their lives and what they lived next to and what it looked like, and that's just cool. Uh, the museum visitors can now see paleontologists remove ro rock from the first of the four dinosaurs, the theropod hips, in Burke's Paleontology Preparation Laboratory. I'll try to go there. I, I really want to. Okay. Additional fossils will be prepared in the upcoming weeks. All four dinosaurs will be held in trust for the public on behalf of the Borough Land of Land Management and become part of Burke's Museum's collections. Okay, this is really cool. So, guys... That seems to be the end of the page. Yeah, it's the end of the page. Okay. If you want to see more of this, drop a like. So I know that you want to see more of this. But that is that is pretty cool that there could be a new species discovered. And Anzu. Anzu is a pretty rare one to find. So that could be really cool. So, without further ado, bye bye